In relativity, proper time along a timelike world line is defined as the time as measured by a clock following that line. It is thus independent of coordinates, and a Lorentz scalar. The proper time interval between two events on a world line is the change in proper time. This interval is the quantity of interest, since proper time itself is fixed only up to an arbitrary additive constant, namely the setting of the clock at some event along the world line. The proper time interval between two events depends not only on the events but also the world line connecting them, and hence on the motion of the clock between the events. It is expressed as an integral over the world line. An accelerated clock will measure a smaller elapsed time between two events than that measured by a non-accelerated clock between the same two events. The twin paradox is an example of this effect. In terms of four-dimensional spacetime, proper time is analogous to arc length in three-dimensional space. By convention, proper time is usually represented by the Greek letter tau, tau to distinguish it from coordinate time represented by t. By contrast, coordinate time is the time between two events as measured by an observer using that observer's own method of assigning a time to an event. In the special case of an inertial observer in special relativity, the time is measured using the observer's clock and the observer's definition of simultaneity. The concept of proper time was introduced by Hermann Minkowski in 1908, and is a feature of Minkowski diagrams. Mathematical formalism The formal definition of proper time involves describing the path through spacetime that represents a clock, observer, or test particle, and the metric structure of that spacetime. Proper time is the pseudo-Riemannian arc length of world lines in four-dimensional spacetime. From the mathematical point of view, coordinate time is assumed to be predefined and we require an expression for proper time as a function of coordinate time. From the experimental point of view, proper time is what is measured experimentally and then coordinate time is calculated from the proper time of some inertial clocks. Proper time can only be defined for timelike paths through spacetime which allow for the construction of an accompanying set of physical rulers and clocks. The same formalism for spacelike paths leads to a measurement of proper distance rather than proper time. For light-like paths, there exists no concept of proper time and it is undefined as the spacetime interval is identically zero. Instead an arbitrary and physically irrelevant affine parameter unrelated to time must be introduced. Topic in special relativity let the Minkowski metric be defined by eta mu nu equals 10000 minus 10000 minus 10000 minus 1 display style eta underscore mu nu equals left begin matrix 1 and 0 and 0 and 0 0 and minus 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and minus 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and minus 1 end matrix right and define x0 x1 x2 x3 equals ct x y Y, Z display style x caret 0 x caret 1 x caret 2 x caret 3 equals court x y z for arbitrary Lorentz frames. Consider an infinitesimal interval expressed in any Lorentz frame and here assume time-like, separating points on a trajectory of a particle. Think clock. The same interval can be expressed in coordinates such that at each moment the particle is at rest. Such a frame is called an instantaneous rest frame. Due to the invariance of the interval instantaneous rest frames taken at different times are related by Lorentz transformations one may write d s 2 equals c 2 d t tau 2 minus d x tau 2 minus d y tau 2 minus d z tau 2 equals eta mu nu d x tau mu d x tau nu equals c 2 d tau 2 
Display style ds caret two equals c caret two dt underscore tau caret two dx underscore tau caret two die underscore tau caret two dz underscore tau caret two equals ada underscore mu nu dx underscore tau caret mu dx underscore tau caret nu equals c caret two d tau caret two. Since in the instantaneous rest frame, the particle is at rest. Since the interval is assumed timelike, one may take the square root of the above expression. D S equals C D tau. Display style D S equals C D tau. Or D tau equals D S C. Display style d tau equals frac d s c. Given this differential expression for tau, the proper time interval is defined as. Here p is the world line from some initial event to some final event, with the ordering of the events fixed by the requirement that the final event occurs later according to the clock than the initial event. Using one and again the invariance of the interval, one may write. Where v t is the coordinate speed at coordinate time t, and x t, y t, and z t are space coordinates. The first expression is manifestly Lorentz invariant. They are all Lorentz invariant, since proper time and proper time intervals are coordinate independent by definition. If t, x, y, z, are parameterized by a parameter lambda, this can be written as delta tau equals D T D Lambda two minus one C two D X D Lambda two plus D Y D Lambda two plus D Z D Lambda two D Lambda Display style delta tau equals int sqrt left frac d t d lambda right caret two frac one c caret two left left frac d x d lambda right caret two plus left frac die d lambda right caret two plus left frac d z d lambda right caret two right d lambda if the motion of the particle is constant, the expression simplifies to delta tau equals delta t two minus delta x two c two minus delta y two c two minus Delta Z two C two Display style delta tau equals sqrt left delta t right caret two frac left delta x right caret two c caret two frac left delta y right caret two c caret two frac left delta z right caret two c caret two Where delta means the change in coordinates between the initial and final events. The definition in special relativity generalizes straightforwardly to general relativity as follows below. Topic: In general relativity. Proper time is defined in general relativity as follows: Given a pseudo-Riemannian manifold with a local coordinates x mu and equipped with a metric tensor g m n, the proper time interval dt between two events along a time-like path p is given by the line integral. This expression is, as it should be, invariant under coordinate changes. It reduces in appropriate coordinates to the expression of special relativity in flat spacetime. In the same way that coordinates can be chosen such that x1, x2, x3 equals const in special relativity, this can be done in general relativity too. Then, in these coordinates, delta tau equals p d tau equals 
P one C G O O D X zero Display style delta tau equals int underscore p d tau equals int underscore p frac one c s q r t g underscore o o d x caret zero. This expression generalizes definition two and can be taken as the definition. Then, using invariance of the interval, equation four follows from it in the same way three follows from two, except that here arbitrary coordinate changes are allowed. Topic. Examples in special relativity Topic. Example 1, the twin paradox For a twin paradox scenario, let there be an observer A who moves between the A coordinates 0, 0, 0, 0 and 10 years, 0, 0, 0 inertially. This means that A stays at x equals y equals z equals zero. Display style x equals y equals z equals zero for ten years of A coordinate time. The proper time interval for A between the two events is then delta tau equals ten years. 2 equals 10 years display style delta tau equals sqrt 10 text years caret 2 equals 10 text years so being at rest in a special relativity coordinate system means that proper time and coordinate time are the same let there now be another observer B who travels in the x direction from 0, 0, 0, 0 for 5 years of A coordinate time at 0 0.866 c to 5 years, 4.33 light years, 0, 0. Once there, B accelerates, and travels in the other spatial direction for another 5 years of A coordinate time to 10 years, 0, 0, 0. For each leg of the trip, the proper time interval can be calculated using A coordinates, and is given by Delta tau equals five y e a r s two minus four point three three y e a r s two equals six point two five y E A R S two equals six twenty five Y E A R S equals two point five Y E A R S Display style delta tau equals sqrt five mathrm years caret two four point three three mathrm years caret two equals sqrt six point two five mathrm years caret two equals sqrt six point two five mathrm years equals two point five mathrm years. So the total proper time for observer B to go from zero 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 to five years four point three three light years zero zero and then to ten years zero 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 is five years. Thus it is shown that the proper time equation incorporates the time dilation effect. In fact, for an object in a senior spacetime traveling with a velocity of v for a time delta t display style delta t the proper time interval experienced as delta tau equals delta t 2 minus v x delta t c 2 minus v y delta t c 2 minus v z delta t 
c 2 equals delta t 1 minus v 2 c 2 Display style delta tau equals sqrt delta t caret two v underscore x delta t c caret two v underscore y delta t c caret two v underscore z delta t c caret two equals delta t sqrt one v caret two c caret two, which is the senior time dilation formula. Topic. Example 2, the rotating disk An observer rotating around another inertial observer is in an accelerated frame of reference. For such an observer, the incremental d tau form of the proper time equation is needed, along with a parameterized description of the path being taken, as shown below. Let there be an observer C on a disk rotating in the xy plane at a coordinate angular rate of omega display style omega and who is at a distance of r from the center of the disk with the center of the disk at x equals y equals z equals 0 the path of observer C is given by t r cuz omega t r sin omega T zero display style T R cos omega T R sin omega T zero where T display style T is the current coordinate time when R and omega display style omega are constant d x equals minus R Omega sin Omega T D T Display style DX equals R Omega sin Omega T D T and D Y equals R Omega cos Omega T D T Display style di equals r omega cos omega t d t. The incremental proper time formula then becomes d tau equals d t two minus r omega c two sin two omega t d t 2 minus r omega c 2 cos 2 omega t d t 2 equals d t 1 minus r omega C two display style d tau equals sqrt d t caret two r omega c caret two sin caret two omega t d t caret two r omega c caret two cos caret two omega t d t caret two equals d t sqrt one left frac r omega c right caret two so for an observer rotating at a constant distance of r from a given point in spacetime at a constant angular rate of omega between coordinate times t 1 display style t underscore 1 and t 2 display style t underscore 2 the proper time experienced will be t 1 t 2 D tau equals T two minus T one one minus R Omega C two equals Delta T 
1 minus v 2 c 2 Display style in underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two d tau equals t underscore two t underscore one sqrt one left frac r omega c right carrot two equals delta t sqrt one v carrot two c carrot two as v equals r omega for a rotating observer. This result is the same as for the linear motion example and shows the general application of the integral form of the proper time formula. Topic. Examples in general relativity The difference between senior and general relativity GR is that in GR one can use any metric which is a solution of the Einstein field equations, not just the Minkowski metric. Because inertial motion in curved spacetimes lacks the simple expression it has in senior, the line integral form of the proper time equation must always be used. Topic. Example 3, the rotating disk again. An appropriate coordinate conversion done against the Minkowski metric creates coordinates where an object on a rotating disk stays in the same spatial coordinate position. The new coordinates are r equals x 2 plus y 2 Display style r equals sqrt x caret two plus y caret two and theta equals arctan y x minus omega t display style theta equals arctan left frac y x right omega t. The t and z coordinates remain unchanged. In this new coordinate system, the incremental proper time equation is d tau equals 1 minus r omega c 2 d t 2 minus d r 2 c 2 minus R two D theta two C two minus D Z two C two minus two R two Omega D T D theta C Two display style d tau equals sqrt left one left frac r omega c right caret two right dt caret two frac doctor caret two c caret two frac r caret two d theta caret two c caret two frac dz caret two c caret two minus two frac r caret two omega dt d theta c caret two with r theta and z being constant over time this simplifies to d tau equals d t 1 minus r omega c 2 display style d tau equals dt sqrt 1 left frac r omega c right caret 2 which is the same as in example 2. Now let there be an object off of the rotating disk and at inertial rest with respect to the center of the disk and at a distance of r from it. This object has a coordinate motion described by d theta equals omega dt, which describes the inertially at rest object of counter rotating in the view of the rotating observer. Now the proper time equation becomes d tau equals 1 minus r omega c 2 d t 2 minus r omega c 2 d t 
2 plus 2 r omega c 2 d t 2 equals d t Display style d tau equals sqrt left one left frac r omega c right caret two right dt caret two left frac r omega c right caret two dt caret two plus two left frac r omega c right caret two dt caret two equals dt. So for the inertial at rest observer, coordinate time and proper time are once again found to pass at the same rate, as expected and required for the internal self-consistency of relativity theory. <laughs> Example 4, the Schwarzschild solution. Time on the Earth. The Schwarzschild solution has an incremental proper time equation of d tau equals 1 minus 2 m r d t 2 minus 1 c 2 1 minus 2 m r minus 1 d r 2 minus r 2 c 2 d phi 2 minus r 2 c 2 sin 2 phi d theta 2 Display style d tau equals sqrt left one frac two meters r right dt caret two frac one c caret two left one frac two meters r right caret minus one doctor caret two frac r caret two c caret two d phi caret two frac r caret two c caret two sin caret two phi d theta caret two where T is time as calibrated with a clock distant from and at inertial rest with respect to the Earth. R is a radial coordinate, which is effectively the distance from the Earth's center. As a colatitudinal coordinate, the angular separation from the North Pole in radians. Theta is a longitudinal coordinate, analogous to the longitude on the Earth's surface but independent of the Earth's rotation. This is also given in radians. M is the geometrized mass of the Earth, M equals GM, C2. M is the mass of the Earth. G is the gravitational constant. To demonstrate the use of the proper time relationship, several sub examples involving the Earth will be used here. For the Earth, M. Topic. 5.9742 times 1024 kilograms, meaning that M. 4.4354 times 10 minus 3 meters. When standing on the North Pole, we can assume d r equals d theta equals d phi equals zero. Display style doctor equals d theta equals d phi equals zero, meaning that we are neither moving up or down or along the surface of the Earth. In this case, the Schwarzschild solution proper time equation becomes d tau equals d t 1 minus 2 m r display style d tau equals dt sqrt 1 to 2 meters r. Then using the polar radius of the Earth as the radial coordinate or r equals 6 356 752 display style r equals 6,356,752 meters we find that d tau equals 1 minus 1.3908 
times 10 minus 9 d t 2 equals 1 minus 6.9540 times 10 minus 10 d t Display style d tau equals sqrt left one to one point three nine zero eight times ten carat minus nine right dt carat two equals left one to six point nine five four zero times ten carat minus ten right dt. At the equator, the radius of the Earth is r equals six million three hundred seventy eight thousand one hundred thirty seven meters. In addition, the rotation of the Earth needs to be taken into account. This imparts on an observer an angular velocity of d theta d t display style d theta dt of 2 pi divided by the sidereal period of the earth's rotation 86162.4 seconds so d theta equals 7.2923 times 10 minus 5 d t display style d theta equals 7.2923 times 10 caret minus 5 dt the proper time equation then produces d tau equals 1 minus 1 1.3908 times 10 minus 9 d t 2 minus 2.4069 times 10 minus 12 d t 2 equals 1 minus 6.9660 times 10 minus 10 d t display style d tau equals sqrt left 1 to 1.3908 times 10 caret minus 9 right dt caret 2 minus 2.4069 times 10 caret minus 12 dt caret 2 equals left 1 to 6.9660 times 10 caret minus 10 right dt from a non-relativistic point of view this should have been the same as the previous result. This example demonstrates how the proper time equation is used, even though the Earth rotates and hence is not spherically symmetric as assumed by the Schwarzschild solution. To describe the effects of rotation more accurately the Kerr metric may be used. See also Lorentz transformation Minkowski space Proper length Proper acceleration Proper mass Proper velocity Clock hypothesis Perez metric Footnotes <laughs>